page 54. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Prophet Ishaq, Isaac, peace be upon him. Isaac's sons from commentators. The Quran does not give details of Isaac's life, but reliable Quranic commentators mentioned that when Abraham felt that his life was drawing to a close, he wished to see Isaac married. He did not want Isaac to marry one of the Canaanites, who were pagans, so he sent a trustworthy servant to Haran in Iraq to choose a bride for Isaac. The servant's choice fell upon Rebekah bint Bethul, Ibn Nahor, who was a brother of Abraham. Isaac married her, and she gave birth to a set of twins, Esau, al Ace, and Jacob, Yaqub. Ill feelings developed between the two brothers when they grew to manhood. Esau disliked the fact that Jacob was favored by his father and by Allah with prophethood. This ill feeling became so serious that Esau threatened to kill his brother. Fearing for his life, Jacob fled the country. Isaac's sons from the people of the book. The people of the book said that when Isaac was 40 years old, he married Rebekah bin Bethol during his father's life. They said she was sterile, so Isaac prayed to Allah, and then she became pregnant. She gave birth to twin boys. The first one was called Esau, whom the Arabs called Alais. He became the father of Rum. The second one was called Jacob, which means Israel, belonging to the people of Israel. Isaac's death. Jacob came to his father Isaac and settled with him in the village of Hebron, which lies in the land of Canaan, where Abraham had lived. Then Isaac felt ill and died when he was 180 years old. His sons Esau and Jacob buried him with his father Abraham al Halith in a cave which he had brought. It was said that Abraham died at the age of 175. Eh, <laughs> eh,